How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, I got a massive cover-up. It's massive. I mean, it's a mess. But, it's okay though, because I'm not scared. So if you are someone that has a mess like this on your arm, do not lose hope. It's possible to get it covered up. It's definitely possible. It's, you know, I wanna, I wanna teach as much as I can, so you can have an artist in your state or country to be able to get your cover up done, you know? And I feel like, uh, I hope that a lot of you are learning. Enough talking, let's get it. <sighs> concentrate, concentrate. All right, all right. So this is what we got going on today. We got a big cover up. <laughs> I got a huge cover up project going on today. Check this out. There's so much going on in this arm that, god damn, it's gonna be interesting. God damn. He doesn't feel good about this tattoo anymore for years now. So, what I put together is something different that he can walk around and feel good about himself. And I came up with this concept here. Crazy. So much texture, so many elements contrast, highlights. Uh, the thing that I'm gonna be focusing on is improvising. So I have my reference here, but I'm not gonna follow it all the way through. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and just do my own thing, just do what's best when it comes down to certain areas. And uh, I just wanna have fun with it. I don't wanna be so stuck in the, in the reference that I'm just following it, you know, step by step and exactly like copy paste i don't want to do that what i want to do is depending on where i'm at i'm gonna just gonna use my i guess artistic abilities to just go all out and do what i think uh is gonna look better so for this project i want you guys to just let go be creative don't be scared just go at it just go at it Rose. <laughs> let's get this day started dog Rose. Let's get this day started, though. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Question mark? You let's let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. God damn, the energy right now is low. <laughs> let's go. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go, son. Let's go. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Okay, so this is what I mean when I say that I'm gonna be spontaneous, I'm just gonna go at it. A lot of the things that I'm gonna be doing, I'm not gonna be following the, the, my actual reference because of so much going on that I might change certain things of the face, the lion, or the, the tiger uh, in the background. Because I wanna be allowed to just feel free to add and take out and change certain things of this tattoo because I wanna be able to adjust to this whole thing that's going on here, so uh, yeah, but I ain't scared. I'm not. But I did end up going pretty big that way, because he has a wide arm, uh, so I need to be able to make the stencil fit across the whole entire thing. So, so I'm aiming for the nose to land here or the shoulder. See where it fits better. The reason why I was aiming for the nose to land on the lightest area, because I want the nose to stand out out of, every, out of uh, everything else, because I'm gonna be adding texture on the cheeks, the background, so I need the nose to stand out. That's what's gonna make the face pop, the nose. Yes, so it ended up landing on the nose, the shoulder area. Stencil. Where's the stencil, bro? Where is it? What is this? <laughs> mm, I kind of want to go bigger now. <laughs> I think I want to go bigger. I'm going bigger. I agree. It sound right, boy. I already put on the stencil and um, so there's a lot going on, too many lines. The only area that's pretty much open, open skin is the part in the middle here. 
which is the area of the shoulder in between the face of the charra here. So yeah, let's get this day started. Listo? Listo. Vámonos. Quick little update, what we're doing right now is um, adding texture. So what that consists of is me doing uh, small little dots uh, on the face, and that is gonna be my first layer. After I apply my first layer, I'm gonna go back in with my gray tones and give it a more brighter tone on the chin and cheek. So I'm just gonna go at it real quick just to show you how I'm doing it, and I'm gonna finish the whole face by doing the same texture over and over again. So it won't be so repetitive. I'm gonna do it one time and show you how I'm doing it. So all I'm doing is dots, quick little swirls, scribbles, slowly building it up and keep making it darker as I go to create that contrast on the cheek and uh, give it that dimension. Perfect. And what I'm using right now, it's a 14 round liner with a voltage of 5.0. So yeah, I'm gonna keep repeating the same process throughout the whole face. And I'm gonna start recording once I uh, uh, start applying my, my gray tones.
now that I already applied all my first layer of uh, texture with solid black ink, I'm gonna go back in with uh, applying now my medium gray and my lightest gray to start making that dimension between the cheek and the chin. And um, for that, I'm actually gonna be using seven round liner. So this is my mid-tone here, it's my uh, medium gray tone. And I'm just gonna go in between those dots and start filling it in. But still doing the same technique. Yeah, perfect. With this, you got to be a little bit more meticulous because you don't want to touch the black dots because that's what gives it that effect. And if you add gray on top of that black, it's going to make it look a little ashy. So make sure to take your time and go right in between those, those gaps. So just like what I did earlier, I'm going to just show you how I did this area. And I'm going to keep repeating the same process throughout the whole face. Just like that, now I'm moving on to my lightest gray. See that now it's getting lighter. So after a long day, uh, I was not able to finish. Like I was not able to finish. There was so much more to do, so much texture, so much detail. I had to call it because it was extremely overwhelming as a whole cover up. And my client was going through a lot of pain at the end, especially on the shoulder area. Every time I was touching this area here and in the back, uh, it was just excruciating pain at that point. So I had to call it. He is a local client So I wasn't worried about that. He was gonna have to come back from the different state You know and get purchased on the ticket and stayed a couple of more nights So I was happy that he was local. So yeah, I mean other than that I'm so excited for this cover-up because we have a lot more to do We have this and I actually the next video he's gonna be back to do another cover-up here on the forum so you guys are going to see a follow-up of what he has here a week later. Uh, but thank you guys for tuning in uh, this week to watch this uh, new video. And if you're a tattoo artist, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you're a tattoo enthusiast, I hope you were entertained. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week.